Jason Momoa. Hi, how are you? Hey, Emily, how are you? I'm great. I'm talking to you. <laughs> um, talking about this show. I know this is such a fun, motivational series and your personality and charisma really shines through. What inspired you to create the show? It's just everything I love. I, 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 you know, my job is to study life as an actor. And so you get to go with all these opportunity, opportunities and learn new things you've never learned. And I'm like, this is just the things that I'm curious in my life. And I wanted to try it. And um, I've never done anything quite like this where it's all me. And it's very revealing and, and silly. And it, it, there's just, it's unedited. We should have edited things out so it could still stay cool, but I'm not. I just get to see me as a total nerd and the things that I nerd out on and, uh, and with all my friends. I think that's what makes the show so special because it really is like we're seeing a new side of you and unfiltered side of you. And like, you're so charismatic in interviews, but this is just so much more personal. And I love that you kind of gave everyday artists and crafts, craftsmen, people who don't always get their flowers, their, their due, and you really highlighted them. So how did you decide who you wanted to speak with and who you wanted to visit? Well, I wanted to be able to, we picked a topic about certain things that we love, that I love. And within that, you want to be able to be at companies that are, you know, been around for a hundred years that are still maintaining handcrafted artisans. So they're still doing it that way after a hundred years. And then you want to be able to showcase people who are still doing it in their garage and making, if not even better, and just taking the time. And I just think, uh, those are the most beautiful things to have. I'm sure there's things in your life that are handcrafted that someone's given you. And those are the most personal things that have the most love and touch. And the more human touch is in there and the more of your intentions and your love and heart go into creating something like that's filled with it. And then you give it to someone like that's his best gift you could ever get. You know what I mean? So I think passing that along and then also encouraging people to go follow their dreams go learn that class that you've never done or go meet that blacksmith and make something for a friend that you dearly love. Or, you know, I think it's just, I, I, and a lot of them, I wanted to honor. I wanted to honor the people that have guided me to this, where I am at my life. So it's like, how do I give them a present of something that just to say, thank you. How do I, you know, so I think just, you know, sitting with these things that I'm just I'm always wanted to do. And then how can I honor them and how can I honor the people who you know need to be have a spotlight on them of course I agree with you like when somebody gives you something that's handmade you treasure it and you want to keep it forever is there anything special that you've given to someone that you was like that you made yourself that was so special that they told you how much it meant to them Goodness, yeah there's tons of things that I make and give and love and yeah absolutely that I mean that's the best gift you can give and I also think there's something about you know, there's, there's things that there's moments I've had in my life where people, I'd be like, wow, that's amazing. And someone's been like, yeah, here, that, you should. And I'm like, what, what are you talking about? And I'm like, no, no, yeah. you really, I think that you should have it. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, that's my most thing. So when people kind of go to me, sometimes they're like, oh, dude, that's really rad. I'm like, hey, it's for you. I love and that. You that off and you go like, and they're like, what? <laughs> that thing will be, you know, I have my first things like I am, a, I'm, I don't want to say I'm a hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all? <laughs> I'm a collector. But, um, I, you know, I have all the, like the things my kids built from their kid and I have all yeah. of it. I have all their, like, not all their paintings, but I have a lot of important paintings and I have things that they've made and little arrows. And, and my son is just like, no. And he, he and now he sees it and he's like, well, wow, you still have that. I'm, and I, because it's, that's who I am. Those are the things yeah. that I'm, they're, they're more important to me than any diamond or anything could ever be. It's like that little stick that's painted the first time you spelled your name. And, you know, I like those are, it's, there's nothing that can beat that. I mean, that goes for all, a lot. I mean, all parents yeah. are like, of course, they're your kids. You love them and you're proud. And I mean, to wrap this up, kind of switching gears slightly, I don't know if you are aware of this, but you are a lot of people's celebrity crushes, including my cousin. But we recently spoke to, internet sensation gypsy rose blanchard and she revealed that you're her celebrity crush do you like how does it feel to have people say that you're their celebrity crush do you are you used to it is it still kind of crazy to you yeah i think they, yeah uh, um yeah i don't i don't know how to, yeah you just kind of thank it you comes with the territory <laughs> 
Never mind. Thank you. <laughs> Lot of honor. Yeah. And last question to really wrap it up. So there's another social media trend right now where you list your 2024 ins and outs. So something you're all about this year and something you're like, mm, I could do without. Do you have anything you're all for this year and something you're like, nope, we'll leave that in 2023? Well, I'm all for health this year. Okay. I'm all for health. So where I'm like, eh, I normally don't work out. I'm going to probably, I'm going to try to learn how to run my fat ass around a little bit more. So I'm going to try to get my heart. I'm I'm, I'm interested in, in taking care of my heart this year. That's surprising. I feel like I would think you're so like always all about health and like, so I'm, no, like, really no, I'm definitely not all about health, I'm, but I'm, I'm need to be more about taking care of myself. Cause I just, I just beat it down. I just go, go, go. So I'm interested in, take care of my heart this year anything that's out anything you're like man nah, we could do without oh jesus there's a lot of things you can do without yeah i can do a lot less with stress and not over like sweating the small stuff and just like let it you know this too will pass you know i think i i'm affected by too much outside um i don't know stimulant too much of uh opinions things like that and just like keep keep to mind, you know, just, just focus on what's important and so not really let those things affect you. So that's something I'm trying to leave in 2023 too. So I feel you.